Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm just chilling at the kitchen table today and I wanted to make a quick, simple video for you all. Nothing too fancy, just a bit of a tech moment in real life. This here is my trusty M1 MacBook Air. I've had this thing for a few years now. It's been amazing, super reliable, quiet, great battery, all that good stuff Apple has to offer. However, today is getting passed on. Yup, I'm actually giving this to my wife. She's been using an older machine and I figured it's time she got a solid upgrade. So before I hand it over to her, I wanna walk you guys through how I reset it to factory settings. Super helpful if you're planning to sell or give away your Mac. But now, here's the fun part. I finally picked up the brand new M4 MacBook Air. Just dropped recently, and I've been really looking forward to checking it out. Man, take a look at this. This thing is so slick. I went with the, like the bluish color look too. Looks super clean in person. Still rocking that fanless design. But now with the M4 chip, which should be even faster and more efficient, Perfect for my everyday workflow. Yeah, this thing is solid. Check it out. Mm -hmm. Looks like on the right side, we have the headphone jacks. Same way that it had on the M1 MacBook Air. And on the left side, there's two, two Thunderbolt think Thunderbolt 4 USB-C connector so it's a lot faster and it you have your charging little spot there for your charging cable which is a good thing it allows you to free two more or free up more spaces for you to plug stuff in and here it is the charging cable that came with your MacBook Air and your power surge allows you to plug in an additional USB-C to charge as well. This type of box that came with it looks nice. Similar to the MacBook M1. Came with of course the little sticker and stuff like that. Let's see what the uh, specs I went with. I went with the 200, uh, 24 gigabyte memory, 512 gigabyte storage. It's a little bit of an upgrade from the base model. I figured, you know, I wish I had the 15 inch, but kind of food that it was a little too much. Anyway, let's uh, let's get back to the M1 and let's get that video started. All right, guys. So I'm back here on the M1 MacBook Air. All right, first thing we gotta do is turn this thing off. Make sure you back all your data. Turn it off, oh, that was quick. Okay. Now once we got this thing turned off, first thing we gotta do is turn on this on and off switch, which it really doesn't have. That's more of a finger. Uh, what do you call that? Uh, a fingerprint. So you keep it pressed and you'll see some instruction on screen, but just hold it and keep it pressed until you see this screen here that's gonna come up and then you can let go. This screen here, you could let go. And we're gonna go and click on the right side and click that and you should see the Apple logo and just kind of wait and watch it and it should go and take you to the Mac OS recovery uh, page or something like that you'll see in a minute what I'm talking about so this is what you'll see you'll see the Mac OS recovery and um, it'll tell you to click on your user account with your password you gotta know uh, your password and stuff like that so this is one way to do it if 
you don't know the password and you just want to do another I uh, just clear it out there's another way you could do it go to the top left corner of your Mac and click on that third choice there and what it does is it will erase everything in your Mac without having to put your code or your password and make sure you have an internet connection because it has to download the old software from Apple but since I know my password I'm I had this for two years I've been using it let's go with this method click on your name put your password and uh, this will allow us to go to the next step click next and here you're presented with four choices but we're gonna click on the last one which is disk utility we're gonna click on that and then press next here we'll have to format our Macintosh hard drive go to the erase there as you can see on a photo on the video we're gonna keep it Macintosh HD and then we'll select the first selection on the first selection there a PFS I believe and then we'll go to next it's gonna tell you are you sure you really want to delete this yes are you really sure because all the data will be lost and you just if you're ready you click on erase yeah you click on that button there to proceed and uh, you'll see the Mac working and erasing your hard drive and trying to reset everything and we'll just wait for a few minutes here I don't know if it's even gonna take that long but we'll see um, looks like it's working it should be done here shortly here it is it looks like it's done let's see what screen will pop up the Apple logo and after that you should see another Apple logo I was expecting something else okay here it is might take a few minutes I was gonna just fast forward it but I figured I'll just talk through the video and go from there alright so it's telling us to activate the Mac and then make sure you have internet connection whether it's via Wi-Fi or Ethernet cable and you should be good from here when you do hook it up to the Ethernet cable uh, it will ask you your iCloud username and your password so you as the user of the previous Mac which is this one I was the previous owner of this MacBook Air you would have to put that in and after you press next it will tell you this Mac has been activated and once it does that it will take you to this screen here this screen will tell you whether or not you want to reinstall the Mac OS X Sequoia and once again you also need the internet and you just follow that procedure click on the second one there as you could see and you should be good to go um, after the Mac OS X Sequoia gets installed then you're ready to hand it over to whomever you want to give the MacBook Air to and they could do the the rest of the setup and when you when you're done you could go back to your either your iPhone or if you have any other devices that you have your iCloud and you could delete this particular uh, device in your like let's say go to your MacBook uh, I'm sorry you go to your iPhone and go to iCloud you should see a list of all the devices that you are connected to using that username you would still see this on there and you could just delete that and um, my wife will eventually finish setting it up and she will then put hers her iCloud account and that's pretty much it and if you was to sell that they would do the same they would continue with the installation and they would sign on using their uh, iCloud account 
Yep, and that's it. Well, thank you guys. That's that's pretty much it. And I appreciate you uh, watching the video. Thank you. Please subscribe.